couldn't do anymore. Um, so what I'm going to say is mom was born on January 17th, 1936. Uh, she left us on February 16th, 2024. She was 88 years old. Everybody that is here held a special place in mom's heart. Um, there were no favorite kids, well, except for Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Very true. Um, there were no favorite kids, no favorite grandkids. Um, I'm not even going to go on that one. <laughs> uh, she loved everybody. And Butch and Coco, Joanne, thank you so much for being here. Um, Mom loved you guys. Uh, Mom was born to Howard Maupin and Dorothy Klon on January 17, 1936. She was raised and she attended Forks High School. Mom loved the area as their family had homesteaded on the Colyu Prairie where she grew up with her brothers, Perry, Eddie, and Bert. Mom married the love of her life, Gary Ray Sr on November 27, 1970. Together they built their dream family home on what is now Old State Road near the Elwha. Here. Spending countless hours landscaping their yard and planting her garden, mom took great pride in the vegetables and flowers she grew. She was always looking for another plant to rescue and she loved sharing this passion and loved sharing her harvest with everybody. When they started landscaping their yard out here. Um, it was a standing joke that if we went in town with mom, we were always going to stop across from the fairgrounds where people would um, dump their, their yard waste. And mom would dig through it and she would find something that had just a little bit of green on it. And she would take it and she would bring it home and she would make this into a beautiful plant. Um, there is a tree right outside their deck um, that she calls Dumpy. It was just a small little yeah, tree and, and should not be as big as what it is, but mom had a green thumb. I didn't get that. Um, Pam did. My son Michael did. Um, mom worked many years as a bartender. Um, she didn't like to be called a bartender in later years. She liked to be called a mixologist. Um, and that's so be it. Um, she was very good at what she did. And at one point she thought that maybe I could be doing what she does. I tried it one night. Um, the first time that somebody said, you know, mom said it's time to finish up, head out. Um, there was one guy that he, he didn't listen to her. And so I said it to him in mom's tone of voice. And boy, I don't remember what he came back at me with, but all of a sudden mom grabbed that drink. She threw it in and she said, get out. And I'm like, oh, big smokes, I can't, I can't do this. He got up and he left because mom, she was very good at her job and people listened to her. Um, she made many friends during that time. And I wish that some of these friends we're here today, but they've passed. Um, we have Dee, who mom considered such a good friend. Um, Betty Fusen, who we all loved so much. Um, Sherry Spencer, these are people that, yeah, mom, mom loved dearly. Um, mom embodied the entrepreneurial spirit. Um, Together with dad, they opened Primetime Video in Port Angeles. Mom also had a successful bait business, Terry's Bait. She was not only a wonderful provider for her family, but she was also very creative. Um, her love of the outdoors was shared with her grandchildren, and any visit to the home from the grandkids would show mom going out, getting a bamboo stick, cutting it, uh, putting a line on it, a worm, no hook, and the kids could go out to the pond and they could catch the fish. Of course, it's catch and release. And they loved it. They spent many, many hours out there doing that. Um, Tommy 
was in the Navy, Jeff in the Marines. Tommy was stationed at one point in Bremerton and he would come home with some of his Navy friends who I think mom considered to be her own. Um, clothes were washed, uniforms were ironed perfectly because mom knew how to do that perfect crease. Um, and the kids loved her. I think everybody loved mom. Mm. Her and I, we struggled a couple different times. And boy, I, I'll tell you what, the guilt I feel from that is, is huge because life is, is too short. Um, I was able to spend a lot of time, well, not a lot. I was able to spend time with mom after she had passed. I was able to go up to the, the funeral home and, and they brought her into a, a separate room for me to <coughs> sit and chat with her for a bit. And I apologized for the times where I was angry with her and asked for her forgiveness, although I know she had forgiven me many years before. Um, I think it's important to know that everybody that is here, mom cared for you so much. Mm. I don't know where Kimmy is. <laughs> Little Miss Kimmy. Um, thank you for being there for mom when she first got on hospice, which was almost three years ago, surprisingly. Um, she lasted far longer than what the doctors expected. Kimmy, you were a huge strength to all of us, and we love you so much for that. Um, mom and I had many conversations when she first got on hospice and she came home. Um, I keep saying um, I'm sorry. One night, I was sitting on her walker, and I think she was sitting on another walker. Pam bought her 50. Um, and mom said to me, you know, I, I wish that I had just a little bit more time. And I said, a little bit more time for what, mom? Mm. And she said, I, I just wish that I had three more months. And I said, what would you do with those three months? And she said, I, I would be different. And I said, different how? And she said, I would just do things differently. And she said, you know, I, I haven't always been a good person. I said, Mom, you are a good person. You know, we, we all have to pass. That's what makes us who we are right now. We're going to wait for Kathy to <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> she would have done, she wanted just a little bit more time to do things differently. Um, she didn't think that she had been a good person. And I said, Mom, <laughs> you're a good person. I said, look at all of these people that are around you. Because they everybody just kind of came in droves to see Mom yeah. when she got put on hospice. And I said, that is a testament to the kind of person that you are. You've left wonderful memories for these people, and they want you to know that. And I don't know if she really got it. Um, I remember her looking out into the family room, and she said, you know, I just, I just want to go home. And I said, Mom, you are home. And she said, I, I know that. And she said, I know it doesn't make any sense, but I look around, I see all these things. I know they're ours, but she said, I just want to go home. Hmm. And I said, you know, Mom, I've, I've heard that so many times from people that they want to go home. I don't know what home is. Is home, you know, out in Forks? Is home 1709 West 10th, you know, 1437 West 11th? And she said, no. She said, I don't know what it is. Um, and I hope that Mom is home where she wanted yeah. to be. Dad, thank you so much for everything that you did for mom. Um, I know it wasn't easy. I, I know it wasn't easy. Um, but you were her rock. 
and she loved you so much. And thank you for doing everything that you did, for being the father that you've been to us kids. Um, we love you. I want you to cry, Dad. Just cry. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Pam, thank you for everything that you did. I, I want you to cry. Thank you for everything that you did here. <laughs> She needed a waffer or new curtains or um, a new nightgown. Pam would get on Amazon and she would send mom these things. Um, and how fun for mom to, to get these different things. Thank you for all that you did for her. Jeff, thank you for being that, that kind soul the one that mom could talk to and um, find comfort. You, you have a comforting Uncle Ed way about you. And thank you for that. Now the favorite. Um, Tommy, thank you for all that, that you've done for mom. Um, the stopping by when they would get off work and see her and dad. Um, the grocery shopping that you continue to do um, so that mom had her favorite meals. She, she loved you so much. And I know that I say that you're the favorite. I know I am. <laughs> but I'm just saying that to make, to make you feel better because I know you're emotional. Um, Children Deborah, Rob, and Kathy. Um, her brother Bert, who resides in Anchorage, Alaska, as well as 23 grandchildren, 23 great great grandchildren, and I believe four great great grandchildren. There was a question as to, you know, are those great greats right? <laughs> and the great rights, yep, they are. Pam and I wrote it down, figured it out. Yeah. 
So thank you again to everybody who came to celebrate mom. Um, Kathy, the dwarf. <laughs> thank you everybody for coming. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you Kim. Good job. Now,